In this question, we have to find the box's magnitude of acceleration as it slides down the ramp. Let's write down what we know from the question. We know the velocity and the radius. Let's think about this problem a bit. For every revolution of the ramp, it descends one meter. So we need to find the angle of inclination. For that, we can use phi is equal to tan inverse of L over two pi r. L is the vertical distance that drops per revolution and 2 pi r is the circumference of the cylinder. To show what angle this gives us, I will draw the components of velocity for the box. The inclination angle is the angle between the transverse component of velocity and the magnitude of velocity. Let's plug in the values we know and solve. So again, this gives us the angle between the transverse component of velocity and the magnitude of velocity. Now we can figure out the transverse component value by using cosine, because this forms a right angle triangle. Now we can figure out the angular velocity. Substitute the values we know and solve. Next, we need the first and second time derivatives of our radius. Since the radius is a constant, both of those derivatives are zero. Also, since the angular velocity is a constant, its second derivative is also zero. We now have all the components required to find the magnitude of acceleration. To do so, we need to use this equation. Let's plug in the values we know. Solving gives us our answer. In this problem, there is actually a z component for velocity. However, it's a constant. So when we take the derivative of the z velocity to find the z acceleration, it becomes zero. Thanks for watching, and I hope this helped. If you have any questions, please comment below.